Jim in Ohio writes to me, Paul, with FR-20s and FR-30 tower speakers now being rated at less than 30 hertz or, or able to go lower than 30 hertz, how can you explain how two towers being placed according to your recommendations handle bass distribution in a room versus one or two subs placed for best bass? Well, Jim, I'm not exactly clear on your question, but I'm going to do my best to just babble on for a moment and talk about something we've talked about before. So this is the FR30 loudspeaker. And the, the lucky owners who have these know that these speakers, from the radiators to the woofers, you got four 8-inch woofers and you got four 10-inch uh, radiators on here. These speakers are flat down to about 25 hertz. And they can rattle your pant legs big time. Theoretically, they don't need a subwoofer. Now, let me give you an example. We were, a while ago, at the Chicago Expona show. And at that show, we had a very big room. It was probably 35 feet square with, I think, a 30-foot ceiling. So this was a massive room compared to this room, which is like, you know, 12 feet across, 15 feet long, and a, I think it's a 10-foot ceiling. Okay, so this is a box that has bass problems. At Expona, we had a big box, a 30 square, you know, 30 feet in every dimension box where didn't really have bass problems. So these speakers, or the 20s, when we played them at Expona, we had this great organ piece that's on Octave Records. I think it's on the bass, yeah, the Art of Bass, or the Art of Hi-Fi series, Bass. Uh, there is a live recorded pipe organ that just is amazing. And at the show, we would crank that sucker up, no subwoofer in the room, and people's jaws were like, we, we got applause. At the end of every time I played that thing, we cranked it up big time. It was like you were there in the room with the pipe organ and it rumbled and rattled and that, you know, the 25 hertz. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. People applauded. If you do that in this room, it's like, eh, eh, it's good. I have to augment with a subwoofer. I have a big rail sub in the back of the room, but it's not to augment the speakers because the speakers in another room as evidenced at Expona, crank out 25 hertz all day long and just put a smile on your face. It's the room that is the problem. And try as best we can, when we want complete bass in this room, we have to add a sub. Now, if you put a sub right here, you're not gonna accomplish anything. Why? Because it's not that the speakers aren't putting out the appropriate bass frequency. It's where they are in the room relative to where you are sitting down. There's a null that's caused by the standing waves in this room. And in order to get bass at your listening position, you have to place a subwoofer or another means of making bass in a different part of the room where the null doesn't happen at the listening position, and then together you have great bass. Hope that answers your question, because I wasn't sure exactly what your question was, but it gave me a chance to pontificate. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, anyway, hope that helps. Uh, it's a subject we'll talk a lot about, and I'll say it over and over and over each time in a different way, just so we can kind of get people to understand the real value of a subwoofer. Well, there it is. We don't need to talk any more about it. Thanks. Bye.